Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you want to express, or if you do express, sympathy or outrage uh, over uh, Israeli civilian casualties, then let me tell you, you are cynically using decent human mm -hmm. uh, sentiments precisely to support indecent, inhuman occupation because you are not uh, actually disturbed uh, by human suffering. You are disturbed by the inevitable consequences of causing the suffering of others. Unless you can show me uh, where you have consistently uh, expressed your grief and your outrage over Palestinian victims over the years, and you can't do that because if you consistently expressed your grief and your outrage over Palestinian victims, why there wouldn't be anything else on your social media accounts because they are victims daily. Now, I don't talk about the Palestinian issue that much on my channel, and I'll tell you why. Because if I were going to start talking about the Palestinian issue on my channel, then I wouldn't be able to talk about anything else. Because things happen every day. Brutality happens every day. Savagery happens every day. Victimization happens every day. You don't run out of things to talk about when you start talking about the Palestinian issue. So if you're just now uh, coming onto social media and you're talking about, oh, these poor Israelis, then let me tell you, you're saying that because you think it makes you a good person or you want to think of yourself as a good person. Well, I'll tell you to your face, you're not a good person because you're not disturbed actually by human suffering. If you were at all concerned about human suffering, then you would have been concerned about the human suffering of the Palestinians my entire lifetime because they've been victimized daily my entire lifetime for decades, probably your entire lifetime because you're probably younger than me. And even if you're older than me, why is it's my entire, my mother's entire lifetime. Now, someone can be disturbed when they see uh, the suffering of civilians or they see the bloodshed of civilians. Obviously, no normal person would accept that or would uh, feel anything but sympathy. But the only thing that makes your sentiment about that or that makes your outrage or your sympathy or your grief over something like that, the only thing that makes that authentic, the only thing that makes that genuine, the only thing that makes it not hypocritical is if you have already been feeling that for the Palestinians because it was the Palestinian suffering being caused precisely by that grandmother or that woman or whoever who supports Zionism and who turns a blind eye to the suffering of the Palestinians the same way that you spent your whole life turning a blind eye to the suffering of the Palestinians. So don't tell me uh, how grief-stricken you are and, it, and that your grief over the uh, uh, Israeli civilian victims in the current conflict, uh, don't tell me that your grief is just based on general human emotion and general human feeling and general human decency because it's indecent that you have never felt this way about the suffering of the Palestinians that eclipses uh, many times over anything that the Israelis have suffered or are suffering now. So as soon as someone uh, expresses their grief or their sympathy for uh, Israeli civilians or Israeli uh, victims in the current uh, conflict, all I hear from them is that they don't care about human life. They just care about some humans' lives, and other, other humans are supposed to just bear the suffering. They're just so, supposed to bear the oppression. They're just supposed to bear the subjugation. They're just supposed to bear the brutality. And the only thing that upsets you is when they fight back. That means that your actual sympathy is with the criminals and not with the victims. Because if a civilian is uh, harmed in the course of a conflict of a resistant struggle against occupation, well, who's to blame for that except for the occupiers themselves? Who's to blame for that except for the people and the system uh, that created the oppression of the Palestinians, that created the occupation, that created the resistance in the first place. And everyone knows that they have a right to resistance, legally, morally, Islamically, and in every other possible way, if you are a decent person. So if you want to avoid the uh, admittedly ugly consequences of resistance, then first you need to prevent the ugliness of oppression and occupation and subjugation. And if you turn a blind eye to uh, occupation and subjugation and oppression, then you may as well turn a blind eye to the consequences, unless you just want to admit to the world uh, that you only have sympathy for criminals and not for their victims. Jazakum Allahu khairan wa assalamu alaikum.